There was a lady. Uh, sorry. Has had a hand up for a while. Yeah. So, yep. And then we'll come down to that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I would like to know how do you actually um, recognize and how do you connect that fear with this, uh, or that emotion with a specific event? What is it that is stopping me from recognizing that? Is it my resistance? Because I have a hard time... It's the I opposite to what you're thinking, though. Excuse you don't me. have to connect the emotion to an event because the event will come up as you feel the emotion. As you connect to the emotion. <laughs> most I mean of a, us an event from... Um, the past. My, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you see, what most people think is they, they... Most people think they can think themselves through the process. Now, in doing the thinking, what we finish up doing is go, all right, I've got this emotion. Now, what event in my past is linked to this emotion? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But what I'm suggesting to you is to scrub thinking doesn't work very well with accessing any emotion. It's actually a product of our fear. <laughs> it's actually a product a of our fear. A desire to control where we're going to go when we get, to this, when we get into this So emotion. is it really resistance that is stopping me from feeling? Yes, yes, it is. It's always resistance that stops you from feeling because a child, if you look at a child, they never stop feeling. They're always feeling. And it's only when we resist their process of feeling they stop feeling. Right? A child by nature just automatically feels everything. You know, when they're angry, they yell, and when they're, when they're sad, they cry. They, they don't go, oh, am I allowed to cry? This is now the supermarket. Mummy won't like it, me crying <laughs> there. So, no, I won't cry here. I'll cry when I get home. <laughs> you don't see any child doing that, right? The child doesn't think through the process. It just has an emotion. The emotion is, uh, you know, whatever the emotion is, sadness in this case that I'm illustrating, and it cries. And if it's in the supermarket, too bad. It's crying anyway. That's how a child is, right? Now, how does the child process emotion? It, it just feels the emotion. Doesn't it? Nothing else. It doesn't actually do anything else other than feel the emotion. It, it doesn't try to work out where it came from, does it? The child's not sitting there going, yeah, I'm feeling a bit sad at the moment. Now, you know... Where did this sadness come from? Was it from my dad or was it from my mum? Or was it from two weeks ago when mummy smacked me or that I still got left over? Or what is it from? The child doesn't do that. What does the child do? It feels sad. It cries. It doesn't have any delay even but usually between the sadness and the crying. And the only time it has have delay is when the parents have imposed something upon the child. Ask. <laughs> Okay, so when you, the example you gave earlier, if somebody squeezes me here and I feel the pain, yeah. that there's fear there, there's an emotion there. There's an emotion there. And you say, when you get rid of the fear, the pain will go away and I won't feel anything. That's correct. Uh, what kind of fear do I remove? You don't need to worry about the fear. Your, you, your you body just, will tell you. You get, them to press the, you get them to press your shoulder until it's painful and then you breathe into the pain. You just let yourself feel the pain. That's all you need to do. Just let yourself feel this pain. And as you feel the pain, you'll start to find an emotion coming up if you have no resistance. In other words, if you're not using your mind to try to find out what it is, you will actually automatically have the emotion come up. And if you just let the emotion come up without judging it, without saying, oh, what's this about, or without going, oh, this is a bit weird, I'm just crying and I don't even know why. See, how many times do we even say those words? I'm crying and I don't even know why. We go, as if that's a problem, <laughs> don't we? Usually we, go, we, we should know why we're crying. Right? Usually There's we prefix it with, I'm sorry, I'm crying, I don't know why. Can you imagine the child going, I'm crying and I've got no idea why, this is a problem. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't do that, does it? It just cries until the tears had ended, till they're done, right? So, so you see, what we're trying to do when we're thinking is we're trying to link together childhood events with different things. And, diff and in reality, what we're trying to do is prevent the emotion. We need to learn to embrace the emotion. If we can't embrace the emotion, embrace the pain first. So start with the pain and let the pain lead you to the emotion, whatever the pain is. So if it's an emotional pain, sometimes you'll feel it in your heart, you know, you feel hurt. That embrace the pain of it and eventually the emotion will surface. Does that make sense? It, 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 there needs to be a willingness to be overwhelmed. And a lot of us think and 
because we, do, we want to control that feeling of being overwhelmed. What's this going to be about? Okay, I can feel that a little bit. If we just allow this whole experience to overwhelm us, we'll be overwhelmed by the pain and then without thinking anything, the emotion does come up. But it, a lot of us have a lot of... Sorry. Sorry, it's all right. <laughs> It feels was, good. It was like, <laughs> I was really giving the example. <laughs> she's, she's grabbing me. Like, go away. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of us have a lot of fear about being overwhelmed. It feels out of control. And for most people, when we commence even thinking about um, feeling our emotions or being humble, as we call it, um, th- one of the first blocks is, this is going to be out of control. I'm going to feel overwhelmed. And that's, that's the fear. And that's when we kick with. in the thinking. Yeah. We, we kick in the thinking then. We'll analyse it start, so that we don't to have to. Yeah. You don't need to analyse. You just need to feel the emotion that's present. That's all you need to do. When you, the irony is when you feel the emotion that's present, what happens afterwards is it tells you the event. Afterwards. So usually what happens... And, and some of the events, by the way, are so young in our life that we don't have any cognizant memory of the event. So in other words, they happen when we were one years of age and we don't know what it was all about. And so w- the emotion may not tell us any event because we can't even remember the details of the event because we didn't have a developed brain to do so. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't worry about that at all? Don't worry about knowing the event. You just need to feel the emotion. And if the emotion occurred at a stage in your life when you, know, you were, had enough of a development in your intellect to know, then what will happen generally is it will tell you that event. It will give you an indication of when that happened in your life. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, yeah. So Thank it's sort you. of the opposite way to what most people try to do it. Most people try to think about it, link it all up, talk about it, discuss it with everybody. But we do all of that because we want to not feel it. When we just feel it, we focus on feeling it. And if you can't feel the emotion, remember I said feel the pain that's on the emotion. So feel the pain if you can't feel the emotion. Feel the pain and that will usually lead you to the emotion. And once you get to the emotion, once you've released the emotion, then you may know more about the event. But you're never going to know more about the event without that process. Thank you. And we will come.